Uh, 17th of July, there was a problem in the LHC. Uh, there was an incident which has interrupted CERN's uh, proton physics run. And several magnets changed from superconducting uh, state to a normally conducting state. One of the very small, thin uh, undulations of the bellows actually opened and allowed helium to enter into the vacuum space. And this is the problem. This is the problem which then stopped the LHC working because the vacuum space was no longer operating. The helium had entered the vacuum space and it made a conduction between the magnet and the vacuum vessel and everything started to warm up. And I think many of you may have seen the photos where we ended up with a lot of frosting on the outside surface of the vacuum vessel. When the cryostat was icing, we didn't actually know where the problem was. So we did diagnostics to de first define which circuit was on. We were able to confirm very quickly it was on the cold mass circuit. And then the next step was to decide where longitudinally it was inside this 50 meter object. And then we could immediately tell, we, even by listening, our leak was so big and we could hear it whistling when there was a small overpressure inside the magnet. Now six minus eight. Yes, you found it. So our bellows to be replaced was cut. It was taken out and it can be only taken out by sliding. And then of course, expert welders from our welding teams in order to gain access in this very back side of, of the weld here. And then a weld that has to be done on the tube which is coming on this side. So we made a local leak test to make sure that that weld was good and we had to make a second leak test to make sure this weld was good. And that's not so easy because we cannot create a vacuum inside because of the complex magnet and we cannot create vacuum outside. So we've developed a special what we call clamshell tool which makes a local vacuum outside at the local place of the weld. We connect the leak detector and we validate the leak test. And this, is, this has took us, I think, um, a total of four days from the opening when we identified the leak to recreating the vacuum, it took exactly four days. We were then able to cool down, uh, I think, on the 1st of August, so uh, 2.5 weeks after the start, after the initial problem. And in a way, this, even though the proton physics program has been interrupted, we've minimized the effect on the physics program for CERN. And hopefully uh, we will be cold and in operation in about three to four weeks time.